LSU football entering enemy territory for week three of the season. They are opening SEC play on the road at Mississippi State. Anyone familiar with the Bulldog Stadium knows that crowd is going to be rowdy come Saturday morning. Our John Eads is live in Starkville ahead of the game. Hey, John. Hey guys, thanks so much. Uh, my first time here in Starkville and the energy is palpable. Now, I'm from Big Ten country, so over the years I've heard a lot of things about this place, all good things. But now that I'm here, I had some pressing questions to ask and things that I wanted to know. So, I spoke to a couple Mississippi State students earlier to get the answers to the questions I was wondering about. Three of them were actually building this tent behind me. You might be able to see it for the game tomorrow for their grandparents who they'll be tailgating with. And then one student I spoke with is actually from Baton Rouge. Take a look. What is Stark Vegas? You got football, you got cold beer, and you got all the girls you want. What more could you ask for? So that's why it's called that? I mean, it's a good time. It's just like Vegas. You come here, you can't help but have a good time. Who's winning? Dogs by 90, baby. Dogs by 90? Dogs Ooh. by 90. All right. I, I feel like there's a pretty good home field advantage here. Oh, yeah. Why is that? Oh, well, we have the cowbells at State. You come in, and it's an atmosphere like no other with cowbells. So that, that, gives a, that definitely gives us an advantage. What's the deal with the cowbells? Because I'm pretty sure that in most stadiums you're not allowed to bring them in, but here you are. So, a long time ago, a cow during a game wandered onto the, onto the uh, field and had a bell around his neck, and it just kind of stuck. So, we've had them for years. When's the first time or the earliest you know memories you have of bringing a cowbell to the game or ringing one? Uh, ever since I can remember coming to the games. I've always had one, got one when I was born. That's just that's how it is when you grow up with state fans. All right, when you hear the letters LSU, what comes to mind? Uh, I kind of want to puke sometimes. <laughs> Who's winning? Dogs by 90. Dogs by 90. That's three dogs by 90 predictions. What's the deal with these cowbells? You guys like them? Love them. Yeah. You have an them. LSU cowbell. Oh, yeah. No it's way. It's like literally painted like I have the Mike the Tiger on it. I will be that's there kind tomorrow. Of, that's kind of treason, no? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, they cancel each other out, but <laughs> it's great. It's so much fun. And who wins? More LSU importantly. wins for sure. Wow. LSU's definitely winning. Um, I feel like most everyone's typical response is dogs by 90. But <laughs> yep, so far. <laughs> I don't have that much faith in us. I think we might win, like, might tie it over with, like, a point or two over. Like, I don't feel, I feel like it might be a close game, but, like, I have hope we can win. Appreciate the honesty there. So those predictions, a little bias on one side or the other. Uh, one thing I do know about this game is that when it's all said and done, my first time in Starkville here again, uh, my ears will be ringing with the amount of cowbells that will be ringing during this game. So that's going to be an interesting experience for sure. LSU also has won four of the last five trips here. So if you need some encouragement, some hope about this game, there you go. Uh, Greg and Liz, back to you. All right, your, your ears will, you'll, you'll hear that yeah, for a while. <laughs> Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Good stuff there. Appreciate it.